What's going on, folks? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet, and I got a rig to review. And here we go, guys. Check it out. This is Lenovo V15. Generation 2, for her pleasure, electric boogaloo. So, first things first, the price is relatively good on here, but I'm not particularly fond of the way that they made the top of it because you can see fingerprints and, like, gravy prints and whatever. Oh, my goodness, you can tell I've been painting with my daughter. Interesting to see that Lenovo's decided to go back to a pin kind of power. I gotta say, the plastic casing on this thing feels kind of, eh, when it comes to Lenovo, but, uh, if you were comparing it to an Asus, perhaps. Core i5 11th generation, my guys. I kind of like the way the keyboard is. It doesn't light up. There's nothing to make it light up, but I like how the keys are gray. It makes it stand out. There's uh, only a little bit of flex. It's pretty solid. Does anybody even care about flex these days? Flexes and bezels. It's kind of interesting that they uh, put this warning on here. There's been so many people buying new laptops that uh, they don't think that the camera's working on because they just came closed. At least if you've had the piece of tape, they know to check it out. But seriously, I have so many people, I know so many people that have had tickets because their camera wasn't working and that's all they freaking needed to do because it was shipped like nya. Why would anybody think that's a camera? As you can see here, this particular model is an 11th generation i5 with an Intel Iris graphic. 8 gigabytes really seems to be the minimum these days, eh? Now, about the screen and about the glare, this thing definitely seems to have uh, an acid finish. And it does pick up light a bit, but it's definitely much better than the ones that I had used in the past. That being said, let's get to our benchmark, Passmark Benchmark 10. Here we have DirectX 9 going by at uh, 27 frames per second, not bad. DirectX 10 at 11 frames per second. Of course, it speeds up a bit between the islands, up to 30 frames per second. Here we have DirectX 11 with a space jellyfish. And blasting off with Direct X 12, not doing so good, 20 frames per second, looking pretty smooth. Once again, this thing is uh, more of a business laptop than a video game thing, but uh, I always get people asking me how old systems can do uh, with video games. And one day this will be an old system. And we end up with a score of 2,337. That's uh, not so bad. Next up, let's try some Fortnite. All right, we're off to a good start. That bus is looking pretty good. I am getting some kind of lags, but you will notice that you can see most of the roads from the sky. There's a lot to be said about that, and you can definitely notice a little bit of lag. Geez, I'm only getting six frames per second. Okay, that's interesting that I can see the road from so far away, but the lag is so real. I'm not used to that. Maybe this thing has better memory, but a lower uh, clock rate for the GPU? I don't get it. I've never experienced that before. So yeah, it looks really good, but things generally, well, except for this, generally load in pretty nicely. And uh, let's see how the response is. The response is uh, pretty good, pretty good. But there's just something up, like the frames per second is a bit, well, maybe not as bad as it was. I don't know, there's just something peculiar, something a little bit off. Like here we can see a tree that's not really loading in all the way, right next to a tree that is perfectly loaded in. I'm getting high frames per second, but I'm also getting a lot of jittering. And uh, that first ride down was pretty rough. This car is looking pretty rough. But yeah, definitely, definitely playable. I mean, when it gets going, it definitely looks nicer than it would on uh, the Xbox One. Uh, but the Xbox One also doesn't jitter like this, so I don't know what to tell you. That's just the way it is. I'm getting 20 to 30 frames per second jittery, but looking better uh, than the Xbox One, that's for sure. Alright, so I installed and got Grand Theft Auto working, and I gotta say, what the hell is this? Grand Theft Auto for ants? I've never had a window this small. I've never had it this small. That's what she said. Oh my god, I just realized I never showed you guys the port. So, let's end this thing on the ports. Over here, on the left side, we got headset, USB-C, HDMI, USB. 
And on the other side we have uh, Ethernet, regular USB, and nothing on the back. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Net from this tech. But like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated, folks. And as always, take care of each other, will you? All right, so next up, let's check out Grand Theft Auto. And look at this. What's this? Grand Theft Auto for ants? I mean, it plays smooth enough, but... It's so freaking small. So yeah, this system is for uh, Microsoft Office stuff. It's for business stuff. It's definitely not for gaming. So lastly, let's take a look at the ports that we got. Over here on the side, on one side, we have USB standard, HDMI, USB-C, headset. And over on the other side, we have uh, internet, the lockout area, and another USB. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Net from Nestec. But like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. And as always, take it easy, folks. Take care of each other.